Hello everybody, I'm your friend in neighborhood Let's Player Spider One and I welcome you back to Millennium 2.2 as we left off. We're still trying to make that uh, SIOS to Titan, but we really need those aluminiums or aluminums, uh, whichever you want to pronounce it with, and titanium. They are coming in this uh, moon base, but very slowly, so it's gonna take a long while. Because in Leda, as I have landed here, they don't produce either of those two. So I'm kind of stuck. But hey, that's how it goes with the game, so... This one, not really much of another choice to do right now, but to wait. That's what this game is all about. Well, not all about, but most about. You just need to wait. It's a waiting game in so many ways. And that's why I wanted to go to Titan, Silver, and Uranium, of course. And with everything else. And I'm, I'm still, I'm still uh, bickering with myself if I'm gonna send uh, one to Tethys at some point. But, uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Only time will tell, I would say. But enough about that. Let's just see what happens next. And the year's gonna change. Now it's Merry Christmas, BDR. You reached the asteroids. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. So, Meteor has a mindable asteroid. Miranda Rams is on here. Okay. That's a lot of things to do at the same time. Let's land these probes first. Gonna probe your anus. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't do that stupid joke, but hey, it had to be done at some point. I am a failure at not avoiding that joke. Because it is so juvenile and stupid and there's copper and I'll take it. Thank you. That was weird. Uh, and Happy New Year! Celebrations were same spent everywhere in the universe. I should have started all these. <laughs> I just realized that what the heck am I doing? I should just sort of send in one day ahead, just one hour ahead, so I can do these. I'm not in my game today, am I? Well, hey, I'm a little pressuring myself. I've been pressuring myself a little bit these days because I've decided to change my scheduling uh, uh, on the... Uh, um, oh, Uranus has a methanoid life form. Huh. Don't have uranium and copper. Titanium, sulfur, I think. Not the bad, not the bad. I'll keep that in consideration. All right, yeah, dip, 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 here, you idiot. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm beginning to do a more of a, uh, what m normal Let's Players usually do is that they upload a video per day. And that's something mm. I've been just struggling with myself for a long while. And uh, I've decided that, why not? I'm going to do that too. And I'm gonna leave this. I want I want copper more than platinum. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, struggle. I've been struggling with that idea for a long time. And uh, oh, silver in Miranda. Oh, oh, I'll keep that in mind. Mostly nothing else there, apparently. So yeah, I'm gonna be uploading videos pretty much once per day, except on the weekends. Mostly just working days because weekends are. Uh, their days and maybe Fridays are not so it's gonna be something like from Monday to Thursday possible Friday in the middle <laughs> in the middle uh, um, yeah, I'm a, so it's gonna be possibly from Monday to Friday with uh, Fridays being more finicky than the other days because the weekends for me are not always possible 
but I'm not gonna go much much more into those so those are gonna be my from now on my uh, uploading schedule for my videos. so hopefully more people will enjoy my videos from now on you never know never know what happens and I'll take it it had everything and I want everything everything shall be mine in this world or universe solar system whichever you want to call it okay more hospitable areas it's very interesting that all of these all of these four right here are inhabitable uh, satellites and planets very interesting also here, sulfuroid life form. But they don't. That that uh, satellite doesn't really have much. So no colonization there. I did once play this game that I that I uh, put colonies in every inhabitable area in the game. And boy, how did us that take long? I mean. Seriously, a long time to put every single SIOS colony on every planet and satellite that there is. You can imagine how long and that can take. And trust me, you don't want to do that. You don't need to do that. You, you can do it, of course, if you want to. It's kind of a challenge for yourself, you could say. But it's not necessary. It was just a little, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a, it was a little challenge I gave myself that if I can do it, put every colony up into the solar system before I decide to do the main quest to the end. This game does have an ending, you know, it just doesn't go on and on. There is a goal in the game. I still need those things, huh? How many? Oh, almost got the. Almost got the titanium already. Still need a few hundred of aluminum. I'd say about a few weeks, and then we got everything. And even titanium has a, in it it is habitable. Have I been saying inhabitable all the time? That does that means that they cannot be, habited, right? I've been saying the wrong thing all this time in this video. So much for my English language. So let's see. It's got copper and silver. Not bad. Another choice for a colonization. Okay. But this is where I'm sending that next SIOS because it's got uranium and silver. And platinum. All good things. Never been in a all this time. After the last time I checked, so let's see how much now. Nicely coming. Nice indeed. I'm gonna take at least up to... I don't know, a lot. It takes 10 uranium to make one of those orbital lasers that I intend to make. It also takes hydrogen and water to hit it. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Not too difficult to make. Except for the uranium, of course, which you do need for it. So, and it like it uh, showed, it takes 10 uranium per orbital laser. So, if I want to make a really good defense uh, on when I get all the uranium here and start sending the lasers all to the uh, to all of the colonies, I'm gonna need. I'm actually gonna make a wave rider because it's faster. And I need to make a lot of those orbital lasers because I'm gonna have the Titan colony up as well before I before I can start making those uh, lasers. I'm sure of it. Rock and roll, baby! <laughs> I haven't had made made that joke, have I? If I have, I'm sorry for it. I do watch my old videos, of course. Gotta keep up when I'm where I am. There's a lot of stuff to watch. 
And besides, like I said, I've been uh, thinking of doing these once per day, so... Everything else that I have recorded, all these other parts for these, this game, and the Arkanoid, and Outcast videos... I've done them all, like, weeks ago, so... It's, I think it's better for me just to do this once per day, because then I can easily keep up with them. And later is under attack, yay! More awkward fighting! Seriously, this is the only accent, <laughs> only aspect of the game that I really do hate. Because this uh, fighting sequence is really, really silly. It looks awful, it controls awful, it's just silly. The good thing is, about it is, it's pretty easy. So you don't really don't have to worry too much about it. Come on, four more. Like I said, the controls are really bad in this. Damn it! Where? There we go. Stupid mouse! Start throwing my ears all over the place. Oh, what? What? Where is it? Where is he? There he is. Uh. You can barely see them on the radar too. I mean, the radar couldn't. They could have done that at least a lot better. Well, everything about this fighting sequence they could have done a lot better. Seriously. Come on, two more. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You and your little friend too. Die, 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 die. Come on, one more. Prize is averted. Everything else in this game looks pretty good. All the other graphics, I mean, just look at all this stuff around here. They really put some little details into these graphics that make it look good. And then you have the fighting sequence, which, look, which looks... Horrendous. What the hell went wrong there? Did they just give up on the graphics and everything? Did they just think that nobody would notice? Oh, okay. I got enough stuff to make this now, apparently. Enough complaining. Let's get on with the game. So, we're gonna be sending our second colony into space soon enough. Did I have everything in the character already? I think I did. Let's see, two fighters, one Sologen, Mark X. Yep. That's all I need for this road. Road? Run. Run road. Mm-hmm. Oberon. Nice of you to reach your destination. Now let's see what you got. Let's see what you are. Rock has a mineable thingamajig. Anything good? Uh, looks okay. Got a nice amount of copper. I'll take it. We're going to the moon! Well, where else? Duh. And another place that I can, in I can inhabit. Actually inhabiting, yeah. I may say, I have been saying it right all the time. English language can be so confusing sometimes with all, all those in and un and all those precursors for the words like upcoming, oncoming. Just makes it so more and so much more weird. Just one one, one little thing you put in the, in the front, and it changes the word. It changes the meaning of the word completely. But anyway. We got our SIOS done. So, oops, didn't mean to go there. We need to go here. We're gonna send Vigilant into space. 
Yes, well. Set a course to Titan. 103 days. Vigilant, you go with it. Onwards you go! To victory! Let's make that wave rider because uh, it only holds 50 ton. I don't know if I did explain this before. I think I did. Holds only 50 ton. But it, it goes uh, twice as fast as everything else. And the good thing, even though it holds only so much uh, of cargo, the capacity being so low, the good thing is the orbital lasers only weigh 10 tons per one, so it can carry 5. And with the speed that this thing goes, it's perfect for carrying those lasers to the colonies. And I do mean perfect for it. And because it's so fast, I'm gonna name it Speedy. I know it's a stupid name, but it's perfect for it. Like Speedy Gonzalez. Andale, andale, epa, epa, riba. Alrighty, Rock. Bring us in. Bring that stuff down. Let's get that off of view. Send you back out. Find us some more nice copper and everything. And let's just wait for Titan Base to arrive at its destination. Takes a little while, doesn't it? How many more days do they go? Two more months. Okay. Well, let's go to Leda because it's been a while since I've visited here. Not too long, but... Hmm. That's a really nice amount already. I think I'll take what I can, as much as I can of anything, like that, like that, launch, and send freedom back to the moon and start making, oh! <laughs> Nice. Close by so it goes fast. That's good. Because I really want that uranium. Oh, come on, Rock. Can't you sometimes not find anything for a long while? Take a loadout, you know? You know, just take it easy. No need to keep finding those all the time. Take an example of a meteor. Doesn't find anything. I want the most amount of uh, beer. Yeah, most amount of beer from the asteroids that I can get. So Neptune, Triton, Nereid, all coming down. Yeah. So let's see which one of these is inhabitable, if possible. Neptune, you are. Methanoid, your methanoids and planted uranium copper. Nice. But you, Triton. Let's see. You got titanium, silica, chromium. I've got a feeling that this planet is the only one with this certain deposit of chromium. Hmm. Me do gets the feeling that I should be sending a colony here as soon as possible. Because actually, that chromium is vital for survival or something. Hello, Freedom. Welcome to the moon. Been a long while. Take a load off. Have a few drinks. See your family. Friends. What not? Give us all that stuff. All that goody 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 stuff. Okay, thank you, bye.
<laughs> oh man. Go back to later, I get some more for us. And now we shall make our first orbital laser. Yes. But I'm gonna leave it to next time when when we're gonna find out what it looks like, what it does, and I'm gonna make him more of these. But that's gonna be in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha Leaving it at a cliffhanger, making my first orbital laser. Ooh. <laughs> This game cannot really have much of a cliffhanger, unless I leave the video at when the Martians attack a colony or the moon base. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all later. Take care, people. Bye.